I answer the door. But no one's knocked. They will. The setting for Theatre Kelowna's latest offering, Any Number Can Die by Fred Carmichael, is an old dusty mansion on an island called Raven's Head. The pilot from the motor launch just dropped them at the dock, said he wouldn't set foot on the island. The storyline includes four murders, a storm, unexpected guests, and of course a fortune left in a will that helps make up any good murder mystery. First time I haven't guessed since before Prohibition. Any Number Can Die spoofs the plays and movies of the late 1920s and early 30s. Hair, makeup, costumes, and attitude of that era can easily be reflected by the actors. To make where the show takes place feel authentic, that mansion on Raven's Head took about 100 hours of work by a talented set designer and builder, Brian Haig, who also happens to be the director and one of the main characters. In the past decade, Haig has built 25 sets for a variety of theater groups in Kelowna. They've all been fun. They've all, they're all different. They're all a challenge. This one, it wasn't that it was particularly difficult. It was simply that uh, the attention to detail was important because it's supposed to be the 1920s. The sets he builds, designs, are just spectacular and they're so realistic. And we were so lucky because we got to rehearse on it as well before we moved in here. So it's been, it's been great. The impressive set feels grand, complete with its staircase, creaking floors, and what can only be described as a few surprises. Oh, okay, so you want to see something. So obviously a show like this has secret panels. What happens with the secret panel? You'll have to come to find out. But there is a secret panel. Mr. Hicks, I don't think we should allow you to stay. This is a private family function and we don't wish any intruders. It's just so real and so easy to use. It brings you back into where you are with uh, all the cobwebs and all the disgusting animals and all that kind of thing. And there are other little places that are mysterious. The actors say that anyone liking good murder mysteries, a la Agatha Christie, would enjoy the seemingly subtle nuances of this show that help create the creepy feel of a good whodunit. Perfect! The storm is breaking in all its fury. Like the clap of thunder and bolt of lightning warnings of impending doom. I think it's going to be a, a show that people really enjoy and leave with a smile on their face. Even though a few people die, I have to tell you. Well, any number can die. Any number can die continues through April 10th at the Mary Irwin Theatre. From Kelowna for Shaw, I'm Tammy Williams.